What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and welcome to a PSA submission returns video. As you can see, we got some screen promos. Uh, so I feel like the screen promos are, you know, will always have a place in my heart. I feel like it's a great example of just how unique Japanese promos can get. And not only that, but I feel like this was one that I saw basically when they first came out um, and just fell in love instantly and managed to kind of like get them at a probably as far as secondary market goes as low as possible um so you know we're going to take a look at the pop reports we won't throw too many like market numbers out there we'll probably save that for another video but let's start with rowlet and we're going to pull up the pop reports uh so this one's probably the least um you know un it's the least whelming i suppose uh, so Rowlet, as you can see, 1200 graded and a pretty easy 10. Uh, so we're starting off with the 9. I'm not showing any 10s yet. We'll do the 10s at the end. Uh, but then, yeah, so pretty big jump from 220 uh, at the 9, then all the way up to almost like 9, 950 for the 10. Let's go to Eevee. Uh, so I won't, we won't get into much in numbers, but I will say that the Eevee seems like it's, um, actually it's significantly harder to grade. Uh, not too big difference between the tens and the nines, uh, but the prices are pretty high. I wonder if Eevee Heroes has something to do with it, which is a lot of Eevee hype right now. And I wonder if that'll kind of taper off in the coming months. But um, yeah, so we got, uh, oh, just one Eevee, uh, eight door. We have some tens coming, but uh, as you can see, much fewer on the tens. Let's go to Saida, kind of like the surprising one. So very difficult to grade. I'm curious as to what is the big differentiator? Like I wonder if the, the Psyduck just have poor centering or what? And what is causing, you know, these this few tens? Uh, overall population very similar. Seems like Rowlet was the least graded. Uh, but then Eevee Psyduck, pretty popular Pokemon and uh, close to 1400 as of right now. And I suspect we got a couple, a bunch of nines. So yeah, we're all these fall into that category of, you know, that where a majority of the grades are coming in. Next, we got the one of the heavy hitters, Pikachu. Uh, so this one was actually obtained differently. The first three, you just had to make a purchase, I think, at a Pokemon Center. This, you actually had to go to a art exhibit, I believe, uh, commemorating the, I think it's Edward Munch, I think is the name, uh, for that screen photo, uh, that screen painting that all these are based on, and then you got this promo. Um, so let's take a look at the pop reports, 1400, so slightly higher, uh, but it's Pikachu, not a big surprise, but look how easy this is to grade. Uh, so a thousand to less than 200 nines. And I am not sure what happened to these Pikachus. I'll have to take a very close look to see where the, I don't know, it's for a seven, uh, Japanese cards are kind of confusing because the quality is usually very high. So I'm not sure if it's uh, centering couldn't give, bring you down to a seven. So there must be like a nick somewhere. If I can't find it, you know, this is at some point, I'll probably send some cards be regrade. I'm not sure if I'll crack the case. Don't have much experience with that. But unfortunately, we did get a few sevens. So yeah, I'm not sure if you can see what is wrong with this card. Let me know in a comment because uh, that's been bothered. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? I think that's a scuff on the case. Um, but we got yeah, yeah another one and then the last oh, we did get one nine uh, Actually nines are pretty low pop, which is kind of funny and then last but la not least Mimikyu this one's really special when we do kind of like a market report I can go talk about this quite a bit so Let's just leave it at in order to fix one You had to buy one of those little portfolio things and this was a promo that was inside I suspect that the uh, print run was much less you can kind of tell that by the pop report so less than half basically uh, about we'll say half across the board compared to all the other screen cards and um yeah so less than 500 tens and unfortunately we in this uh two submissions we got back we got all nines i actually don't have any tens Ooh, that hurts i do have some tens from a previous submission we got back quite a while ago uh so check out some of my previous videos for that but um, all right, so if you're wondering, Turtle, where are the tens? Don't worry, we got some tens. So we're going back to Rowlets. Again, this was the easiest to grade and we did pretty good on the tens. Good amount of this scared bird. But um, yeah, just this art, so unique. And man, I can't say, can't say enough about these cards. And we got a lot of tens. All right, and that's just for the Rowlet. Let's go on to Eevee. Uh, yeah, the TLDR, or, you know, if 
if you kind of want to get some EVs, I maybe I would. I wonder if in a month when EV Heroes is not like brand new, if this will go down because the prices do seem kind of high. But we do got some tens of the very cute EV, and you can see you got one of the other Pokemon in the background. So here we have the Psyduck, and this one. Oh wait, no, let's see EV. Uh, significantly harder to grade, not as bad as Psyduck. Alright, and that is the last 10. Actually, it wasn't counting, but that's a good amount of 10s for the Eevee. Let's go to the Psyduck. This one's a little bit interesting because you have a... Um, maybe that could be Rowlet. No, I'm not sure. Not sure what Pokemon this is. It kind of looks, those look like uh, could be a bird. But then you have, obviously have a Haunter back there, uh, just <laughs> making the Psyduck all scared. And we got some tens as well for the Psyduck. This one I think is pretty expensive as well. But again, or you know, at least the pop reports, it is pretty difficult to grade. Actually, it has it's the only one with like a negative ratio from nine to ten. So uh, very interesting. And I was very happy with the number of tens we got here. A little sour about those Mimikyu's. Wonder if that was just centering. And lastly, we got some 10 Pikachu's. This guy, honestly, might be worth picking up sooner than later. Um, I think this guy's been on the downtrend. I wonder if a lot, lot of these are just like going into the secondary market right now, driving the price down. And I, I wonder if some, at some point it will stabilize and then kind of go on an upward, slow upward trajectory after that. Uh, this guy has been on the decline. Not sure when I'll bottom out. But Pikachu 10s. This will definitely be a very iconic card for a long time to come. We got some 10s. I can't believe I forgot to put this out in the very beginning of the video, but I love these cards so much that I actually picked up a Scream Plush. Uh, that is really cute. I think I need to zoom out a little bit. And. Um, yeah, I thought this, this plush was so cute that I left it in the plastic, kind of like how I treat Funko Pops. They kind of stay in the boxes, especially if I like them. So, very cute plush. Um, yeah, I want to keep this guy forever, so that's why he's still in the bag. So last thing we're going to show in this PSA um, returns video is a handful of cards that actually got super low grades and will be added to that pile. Like, all right, so this is a five of, or added to the pile of cards to potentially be regraded, uh, whether it's submitted in the case for a regrade or just crack the case for a fresh grade. I'm not sure, but for it to be a five, there should be like a significant dent or bend somewhere in this card. And I haven't had time to, oh, okay, there we go, sorry. So this one, yes, this one's probably deserving on that five. You can see that significant dent right there. Uh, but in case I can't find it, yeah, they will probably be regraded at some point. And I feel like this wave of these two submissions, all these cards came from two different submissions. Um, some of the grades are pretty brutal. I still have to do a bunch of videos for, I still have a lot more cards to be graded. I think got back total of 290 and Hey, I don't see it. So, you know, again, I'll take a much closer look. Here we have a Pikachu 6. But, you know, in the event I do find... Oh, all right, here we go. You can see kind of like a bend down the middle. It's actually not the end of the world. Um, these cards are perfect candidates to actually have out. Uh, you know, kind of like probably display on the wall or something. Just, you know, in the event that gets stolen or something, it's not like we lose out. I don't like the idea of... This is the wrong amount of cards supposed to be out. I don't like the idea of having like $1,000 cards out in the open. So... Yeah, these were just the, the low grades. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for my PSA Scream Returns. Uh, have a lot more cards to show off in upcoming videos, and we'll kind of mix in some market reports as well. But this one, we'll save the market analysis for a future video because uh, there's, a, there's a lot to talk about there, and I just wanted to show off these, these PSA cards. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, more of these to come. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, as always, to support the channel. Huge shout-out to all the patrons and Twitch subs. And, yeah, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.